back to the channel everyone. Now today is something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. If you look at the interior in an EG Civic, there's no good place to put a switch panel. And by switch panel, I mean like five or six switches, flick one, underglow comes on, flick another one, a light bar or something like that comes on. But like actually look around, there's no good place to put it. Like originally I was thinking I'll put it right here, but then it kind of gets in the way. So I might flick a switch and turn signal or I'll, I'll put the turn signal down and flick a switch by accident. And then my light bars on and I get a ticket or something like that. So my plan is to put six or eight switches in the center console. So it's completely hidden, flick a couple switches, put it back down. You'll never know it's there, but I'm going to make it totally different. Like I'm not just going to throw a couple switches in there. Not like that, no. But at the same time, I know these aren't cheap, so I don't want to wreck that one. Instead, I have this gray one, which has definitely seen better days. Like these are drilled out and just, I'm not exactly sure what's on this. And it's just all crusty in the back. And the whole inside of this is almost like, you know, when someone smokes for years and years, you kind of got that tar texture on like their countertops and stuff like that. That's what this feels like. How that's even possible. I don't even know. So my plan is to take this black cup out of here because this all comes off. Take that one out and put it away somewhere so it doesn't get damaged. They're exactly the same, but th besides the point. And then along this line here, cut it all the way around and then mount a piece of plastic in there and put like a plastic adhesion and then mount six or eight switches on here. <laughs> Rusty. Okay, so I actually got it pretty clean, but it took about four tries to actually get all that crap, tar, whatever off of this thing. But my plan is to put a piece of plastic all the way around the top right here, and then put eight switches, six or eight switches, we'll see how many fit. I went out and picked up eight switches, all of them are red because I like red. And then my plan is to cut the bottom out of it so I can feed all the wires up and then it would all just be hidden. You just see some wires coming through the top. It would look really nice and clean. But I needed a piece of plastic that I can cut and use in that area. So I had a piece of plexiglass lying around, like it's really beat up, but I'm gonna end up using this and plastic adhesive kind of glue, whatever I got lying around. So hopefully that works. But to actually mock up what I need without cutting the plastic, putting it in, cutting it, putting it, cutting it, putting it in, I just have a piece of cardboard that I'm gonna try and cut to the size and then slowly lower into it so I can use this as a template and then cut the plastic once instead of 80 times because it's obviously easier to cut cardboard than plastic. So I got the piece cut and trimmed 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 a little bit more and then trimmed a little bit more. But I think I have it pretty much down now. So if I put that there, pop it in place, push it down a little bit, it sits in there just nicely. So I'll measure it out, make sure it's all square, pop it back out and I got to cut the holes for the switches still. So unfortunately I could only fit six switches in here. I think eight would just be a little too close. I mean, I could, I just think it would look really weird. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so I completely destroyed the other one trying to drill the holes because I couldn't exactly figure out where I wanted them. So I took the test piece and I cut all the squares into them. So this is exactly how all the switches are gonna go in there. And I need to cut another piece this exact size use these holes as the template and uh, probably use some spray paint or something like that and then cut out that square and then it should be just right. Okay, third time's the charm. First time broke, second time didn't fit at all. So this is what I did. I marked it out on a new piece. I took the Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and I very carefully cut all the way around and I smoothed off all the edges and I very carefully went all the way around and now it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna very carefully cut six slots into here for the switches and then we'll be able to glue it down. So I got this one switch in and I'm totally honest, 100%, this took me like 15 minutes. I did not wanna break my third one and it looks awesome. It's obviously way bigger than the hole there. I had to 
file out a lot, but I'm gonna take my sweet time and do the other ones and get this molded into there without breaking it. Really hope I don't break it. Got the second one in. Got the third one in and it's so cool. I love it. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how long it took me to do this, but I finally got them all in. But wow, oh my gosh, I can't believe this took so long. But now that it's done, take the buttons out, finish up the edges, and get it in there, or get it in the cup, or the center console, I guess is what you call it, and get it all glued in. Now, I'm not sure if I show this already, but this is my plan. Plastic bond, world strongest bond, blah, 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 blah. This will be my plan. So it would be, I, it would go just on the outer edge of this and same with like the cup. It would go just along this edge. I'll get it in place exactly where I want it, tape off the center where I don't want this and I'll put a thin bead all the way around, rip off the tape so it's nice and smooth and then just load on the bottom because you're never gonna see it. Okay, like I said, I have never done this before and I think it turned out really good. Like, really good. I, all the edges float out super nice. The center is kind of like flowing inwards, which doesn't bother me because I'm gonna sand scuff it all and I'm gonna, f I'm gonna try and flock it, not today, but one day when I flock some other stuff, I'm gonna do this whole thing. But it's all in there really good, so I'm gonna let this dry really good and then once it's all dried, it's not flowing anymore. I'm gonna flip it over and then do the inside. All right, good morning. It's a little chilly out this morning, but I'm sure I'll survive. Now this turned out awesome. Like, look at, look at this. It's not going anywhere. I am still gonna put some in the back just because like, look at that. You can kind of see through in some areas. Like, it doesn't take a brainiac to figure that one out. Yeah, it is hard, but if I spend the time and the money to put the switches in here and flock it, I don't want this coming apart. So I'm gonna spend some time now, do the inside. Okay, got this all glued up. I just loaded it on, like held back none. So while that dries for the next half an hour or so, I gotta get the center console out of the car, and which I think it's gonna be a really big pain because I have these um, buttons for the heated seat, which you guys should have seen already. But there was like just enough wires to feed the wire through, plug the button and then push it back in. So I think I'm gonna have to pop them out somehow, unplug it, I don't know. I'll go from there, I'll figure it out, but I gotta get it out. That's the most important thing right now. So I got it out of the car and it actually came out really easy. So I, I managed to lift up the front, pop out the buttons from behind and then unplug the wire, pull it out. So they're sitting in the car now. But something I did remember was when you lift this up, it actually has a pretty decent sized crack right here that moves the whole thing around like it's really bad. So I'm gonna take this bucket out, take this lid off and see if I can go behind this and fill this with JB Weld and hope that that sticks. While that dries in the meantime, that just looks kind of ugly. So I have some gloss trim clad, I believe so. Yeah, I still have some gloss trim clad. So for the time being, I'm gonna spray this gloss black and, when the, and then when the time comes to flock it, I'll try my best to scrape it all off or sand it or something and then flock it. So I'm gonna get that done and hopefully this is dry within the next half an hour and I can put this in here. I think it would look nice if they're all facing this way when they're in the car. And obviously when it's on, this lid is closed anyway so you don't see it. So I think I'm gonna put them all in this way. Okay, got the buttons in. This one's not perfectly straight but I just gotta move them around a little bit. I left a little bit of wiggle room. But for the time being, I think I can put this in here.
Okay, so got it in the car and it looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It would look even better once it's flocked, but I got some other stuff I'm planning on flocking, stuff for the Scion, stuff for this, and stuff for the other cars. So I'm planning on just doing a bunch of stuff or a bunch of small stuff at the same time and then maybe I'll do the dashboard in this car, maybe I'll do the dashboard in the Scion. Honestly, I was planning on doing the dashboard in this Pontiac too, just because there's cracks in it. I think I explained that in one of my other videos, but anyways, this looks awesome. So, you get in the car, you look, and it's all nice and clean. Well, the car's a complete mess right now, but it's all clean. Like, there's no switches anywhere. Like, there's no good spot to put switches. So, you look down here, you open this, and boom, you got six right there. And I think that is so cool. So, like, we can have, like, underglow have the rock lights or something we could have one for the stars in the roof and maybe a light bar and stuff like that but there's six options so six things to think of so if you guys have any ideas put them in the comments and i'll try my best to read and respond to every single one of them sometimes i get busy but i'm sure it'll be fine but make sure you leave a like a comment and subscribe definitely definitely comment i want to hear from you guys definitely comment definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys next time